hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make a cow kaftan dress or a bubu so i'm going to use this to represent a fabric first because i feel if i use fabric you wouldn't see the details of it so i'm going to use this as fabric before i cut the real fabric so this is it let's imagine this is a full piece of uh, three yards three yards is fine if you don't have three yards you can use you can use two yards it all depends on you just that the more fabric you use the fuller uh, draping you get so the first step is to fold my fabric into two equal parts this way so and then we are going to imagine that this is the full length of a material of 60 inches the length so i'm going to fold it into two and then since we want one side to drape we will have to fold on a bias taking consideration your shoulder measurement so you take your shoulder measurement from one point to the to wherever you want the 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 sleeve or the draping to stop so on your fabric you can use 24 inches 25 26 it all depends on you it all depends on you so let's just imagine this is our fabric so you fold it into two this way since i'm going to i'm going to use half inch to sew this side so this folded part let me indicate it is the back it's on fold and this is the front i'm going to leave just half an inch it all depends on you too so this side is the front and this is the shoulder part and then this is your length so on your fabric you can use a, a length of the length of 60 50 depending on your um how depending on how tall you are so i think on my fabric i use 51 and a half so let's just imagine that this is our fabric and i'll use seven and a half for the length i'm going to just mark a straight line from here let me paint this down so i'm going to cut it out and then we'll continue from there after cutting this is what i have the, the bottom part this is the bottom part and this is the shoulder part now at this side of the shoulder i'm going to come in by half an inch on your fabric whilst cut the whilst measuring measure like three inches and then for the back the back is of food i'm going to, i'm just going to come down some more and just curve it and then for the front i'll come down in on my fabric i came down by six inches i think but this is just a representation or something so i'm going to use one so from this side just going to notch wherever my width ends so that it will be transferred to the front part and then i'll connect it this way so i'm going to cut it i'll cut the front this is the back and then i'll cut the front also then after that you measure this is where your arm is going to pass through and then it will go this way uh-huh so afterwards you measure on your fabric six to seven inches depending on what you want so on my fabric i marked i marked six inches but here there is no fabric so maybe i'll make use of one inch and then i will notch just to 
make sure that is where I want my arm to pass through. I'm just going to notch it. The notches are just going to help me out. Mind you, this is the side. The side is is not cut open. This is the side. So at the down part of my front, I'm going to measure. I think on my fabric, I came. I went up by like 15 inches or so, but I'll go up here by two and a half. This only this is only at the front part. So I'm going to mark the side here. I'm just going to notch the side here to help me out. So I'll mark how deep I want it to be. And then I'll open it up. This is the notch. Uh-huh. So I'm just going to curve this is the front. I'm just going to curve from here to the notched part. Just make a nice curve. Don't let it be sharp. And then I'll cut it out. So I'm folding it back again. So now this is the side. So I'm just going to hold. Imagine this is the fabric. I'm just going to open up my fabric this way. And then I'll have something like this. So, you coming in deeper is just for you to feel free because the down part is very uh, taped in. So, you need to feel free when you wear the dress. So, go up by whatever inches you want. So, this is it. I think I used a scuba fabric. So, I'm not going to hem the down, neither the neckline. I left it that way. But if you are using something like lace or a fabric that frees, you will have to use bias or you knitting it by using a facing. So you just sew the half inch in. And then from here, you sew half an inch from the shoulder point to where you notched as um, your sleeve side, where you want your arm to be. So if your fabric frays, you just you just go and knit in it and then you fold it inside. You hem it inside. Same applies to the other side. You sew half an inch and then you stop at where you've not. I think that, that that's all. That is all. You join this side, you join the shoulder to where the notch stops. And then you do same here. If your fabric frays, you sew it down, you knit in your neckline, and you are good to go. Mind you, the more um, bias you fold, like the more you go on a bias form, the, the more draping you get, and then the more fabric you use, or you are going to use. So, please take note of that. So I'm done joining the shoulder, leaving the cis 
inch space for both sides. I joined the center front also. But I still went in at the shaped area. I still went in by I think three more inches because when I wore it, I realized I was feeling free, but I wanted it to go more higher. So I went in by three inches again. So this is how it looks. I'll wear it and then I'll show you the outcome. <laughs> 